This morning, we're meeting a Utah grandpa with an unbelievable number of grandkids. His family lives all over the world and is still growing this morning. ABC4 Sarah Murphy caught up with him and Sarah, how many kids are we talking here? Well, the way he counts it, he has more grandkids than double the population of Salt Lake City. We'll just let that sink in for a second. So it makes sense that for this Utah man, being a grandpa is a full time job. Now he's using that job to share messages of hope across the world and here at home and it's good for Utah. What has 18 legs and catches flies? It's not a dad joke. I don't know, little grandpa. What has 18 legs and catches flies? It's a granddad joke. A baseball team. Ah! Do you get it, Sarah? Do you get it? 72 year old Craig Hansen makes himself laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and his wife Liz agrees. He's kind of quirky, which is something that I like about him. He has a very different way of looking at things. Craig and Liz have been married for a long time. So long, sometimes they forget. We've been married 32, 31, almost 32. <laughs> Liz married Craig after his first wife passed away leaving him a widow with six kids. The first time we went to the grocery store together, we were dating and he was getting groceries for the week and he asked me if I'd pick up the milk. So coming from a family with one sibling and two parents, I picked up a gallon of milk and brought it back and he said, well, that's a good start, but will you go back and get 10 more? Now, over three decades later, Craig seems like your typical grandpa, sharing old stories. In the Syracuse Museum, they have a cow. A and plastic cat. A plastic cat. <laughs> and talking about his kids and grandkids. You have a daughter whose husband's in the Air Force. But this grandpa is a bit different. Biologically, you have 19 grandkids, is that what you said? Yes, uh huh. Now, how many grandkids would you have? <laughs> well, it's right around 490,000. Yeah, and they're, they're a good group. 491,000 to be exact. Now, they're not all biological, they're virtual. Grandpa Craig went viral. We were overwhelmed, really. We, um, we couldn't figure out what the, what the magic formula was. A few years ago, Craig used to read books to his biological grandkids every Saturday. But once the COVID-19 pandemic hit, in person wasn't an option. Somebody said, Obviously, you need to start a YouTube channel and read the comics to your grandchildren on YouTube. So, that's what we did. Hey, welcome to Grandpa Reads the Comics. For three years, they had almost no views until one TikTok influencer found Craig's account and shared it with his own followers. Overnight, their follower count grew. They went from two to three views a video to thousands. There were really no words to describe it. It was just totally amazing, baffling, just we were just speechless. Now, they're technically retired, but both Craig and Liz have taken the role of internet grandma and grandpa on as a full-time job. We love you. Love you guys. We just come to love them, and we do feel like they're our grandchildren. We wish we could just gather them all up in our arms and give them a big hug. It's a job where the impact goes beyond the screen. I got a comment one day from somebody that says, I've been thinking about suicide, and I watched your video today and I decided that life is worth living. Thanks, Grandpa, for being there. You know, it only takes one of those to make it worthwhile. So they take their job seriously, making a video every day for their grandkids across the world, sending a message. I became your grandpa, so I'd say my life has been a huge success. That home is people and family is a choice. Now the Hansons virtual grandkids live all over the world, places like Turkey, India, Taiwan. Now Craig and Liz say they have no end goal right now. They plan to keep doing this as long as their grandkids want them to.